I'm going to ask a question now. Oh, no. You haven't warned us about this. Yeah. It's the when should I put things in OneDrive and when should I put them in SharePoint? It's this this sparked the uh, the eternal question. <laughs> we even you want to get into this that this early in the in the <laughs> recording. <laughs> so what, what, Gavin? What do you say to people about the the difference between OneDrive and uh, and other sources yeah. of, of storage? It's interesting. That's uh, you know, 50, it's, it's amazing. It's fifteen years old for one. And it's amazing that the amount of people I still meet that have no idea what it is. So you're like, well, it's a bit like Dropbox. And then if they're, if they're going to use Dropbox, then you're like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know now. So, yeah, I always say, like, if it's, you know, personal to you or personal, it's typical, isn't it? I'm already tripping over myself trying to explain it. <laughs> but it's like it's stuff that you usually work on offline and then share, I guess, would go in OneDrive and then it happens to be backed up to the cloud where you can get it from anywhere and stuff yeah. that you know you want to get straight away you put in SharePoint so like OneDrive is private by default you can choose to share it SharePoint's open by default unless you choose to restrict it I would say but um yeah there is a, quite a lot of nuance in OneDrive and, and SharePoint I think still I think there is isn't there and it's always been one of those it's all that that particular question has always been one that different organizations approach differently i mean i've come across organizations who say you can't store anything in OneDrive for longer than a year you know or six months so that you know it is a temporary store you know and some block the the sharing out of it um but it's so i use it all the time because i use the OneDrive engine to sync things down from teams as well to sync those sharepoint libraries down which i think is one of the the most useful tips that you can give somebody is that little sync button so that they can find it on their own machine and then keep it synced on their own machine uh, that's that's incredibly valuable for me yeah i agree it's I do a lot of cool. yeah. yeah a lot of this i'll use a lot of the syncing but then that in itself creates complexity for like normal people doing a normal job i think so like you explain the basics of onedrive and you're like aha but there's also then a app <laughs> that syncs stuff and it could also sync stuff from SharePoint and then like oh, hang on how do you know what who can see what and it gets very confusing for a normal person I think unless they you know they just need to get on and and, and get on and use it but um, I think that's yeah I think this is where etiquette comes in isn't it <laughs> yeah, I couldn't last that long without signing a word I'm Gavin Jones founder and director at MeTime where we help people save time at work using Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you need help saving time at work, got a free course linked in the description below that you can get some tips and tricks on how to use Microsoft Teams, Microsoft To Do, Microsoft Planner, and make yourself more productive at work. If you're struggling to get your whole organization to change, we've got another free course that might be useful to help generate some ideas that you might be able to steal to make your whole organization work in a more modern way. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. So just kind of looking at the 15 years and the scenario you just mentioned about syncing files from SharePoint using OneDrive and, you know, uh, in, a, in a previous kind of world before OneDrive uh, appeared, we had the win opening Windows Explorer in SharePoint, yep. and that changed, and then went into OneDrive. But then since, you know, like you're thinking, okay, OneDrive is 15 years old, it's just storing documents, right? But we've seen enhancements, we've seen the mobile apps appear, you've got the personal, you've got the business use, um, you've got the photo storage as well. So for like your... your uh, I know I use it on, on my iPhone, so my camera yep. all automatically syncs up and it, it's then stored in the cloud and then known folders as well. So yep. from an organization point of view, you know, documents that you just drop on your desktop because obviously that's the best place to organize your your work is throw everything on your desktop. <laughs> um, you know, you, you've got that. Uh, automatic sync back to the cloud whether you're actually placing it in the OneDrive folder or not um so you know it's it, it's interesting that you know the um features that have been added just to this kind of storage um service and um obviously we've had the vault as well um for security yeah. and, uh, and and passwords so yeah when we think of OneDrive we might just think okay it's just you know, syncing files and and back up that way, but it is it is a lot lot more. It's uh, it, it's much more than just yeah. simple you know cloud backup. If it you like. is, it it seems to be a common a common sort of thing that's happening now that you know a single product name now 
describes a lot of different capabilities. You know, when we look at Teams, we look at SharePoint, we look at OneDrive, three products that between them do probably about 10 products worth of capabilities. Uh, and there's, yeah. there is so much in there. And, and you're absolutely right. I mean, I use it all the time. I'm like personal for storing content. And, you know, you've then got OneNote built into it as well in terms of having all of those those files stored there. So, yeah, it's uh, it's quite a significant product, isn't it? I wonder just, what's uh, going to happen in the next 15 years, though. <laughs> you just triggered me on something, Gary, when you mentioned the desktop and the known folders. And to me, that was an absolute lifesaver. So I used to work with a lot of salespeople. Being deliberately sexist, salesmen were atrocious at file storage. Like their desktop was just plastered. It wasn't even in the grid, I don't think. It was just everywhere, <laughs> a sea of files. It, 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 it's funny, I'm sure that's me and Al have, a, have have people in mind. When <laughs> <laughs> you say this. <laughs> everywhere, like, this, it should be on a shared drive somewhere. It's just plastered over the desktop. And then, like, when OneDrive was updated, so you can have, like, my documents, desktop all synced up. Like, oh, my God, I write, every, train everyone to click this button. That is amazing. Yeah, but at least it's stored somewhere, not on the, the coffee spilling prone uh, desk <laughs> of the home. Oh, yeah, or well, printed out in the boot of the car. Yeah. Cool. So OneDrive, yes, fantastic. 15 years. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more a lot more to come from OneDrive. Before you go, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. It really does help us in the algorithm. We've got super thanks turned on now. So if you really liked it, then consider supporting the channel with a donation. Thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in the next video.